What's going down, guys? Ray's Vash or the Exile Cow, as you may know me here. And today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do a flashing lights to the beat tutorial, like syncing it to the music, which a lot of you have been requesting, and it's pretty popular in montages that go on like flatline editing and all that. It's, um, not that many know people know how to do it, I guess, but I don't know. It's pretty easy of an effect and. I basically just experimented with it myself and figured out how to do it but um the way we're gonna do it is it's easiest if there's like a song that has um drop so it like it builds up by the beat where it just progressively goes from like um, eighth notes sixteenth notes thirty second notes and then drops um the lights will be synced to those beats and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new solid and this is gonna make the lights you can also do it the other way we can do it with any color make it like red black any of that and sync it and then put this as an overlay so you can see makes it much brighter and what we're gonna do is I have it cut out a little until right before the build up and we're going to go to right click on it then go keyframe assistant and then convert audio to keyframes and then it makes a null object with all of the audio keyframed into different position points if you will which can turn that off so it gets rid of that um, you can go into effects delete left and right channel because we're only interested in both because that's like the only one that really matters for the beat and we could use any of them but Anyway, um, go down to opacity in your solid, or right here, and then hold down Alt on your keyboard, and then click the stopwatch. That opens up the expression tab on it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pick whip, grab that right there in opacity, drag that up to slider on the audio amplitude null object, and then this, you can see, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's pulsating the light's opacity to the beat and it's pretty low right now since I don't know that's just how low the position point is and the keyframes and audio amplitude so what we're gonna do is whatever this is basically saying the value of the opacity um, or the, uh, the value of the audio amplitude is the value of the opacity on the uh, pick whip to the slider, but um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that value right there plus forty more points of value, and then as you can see, it added forty to that, and this will basically strengthen the effect. You can also put star two, and that would just times it by two or one point five. Anything under times one lowers it, and so this is our effect. I'll ram preview this and you can see as it's previewing that it's flashing no uh, it's also gonna flash to some other noise in the song but you can go through it takes a while um, and cancel out the noise by going to audio amplitude and just deleting all the keyframes that aren't the bass beat you can just go through and match it up to that but just go through and delete all those and then it'll only go to the beat but um, that would take a little longer but I just figured I could tell you guys while it's previewing just so you know so yeah we have some sexy ass color correction on this bad boy clip and that should be good <laughs> it wasn't that strong an effect we could try plus 70 and then it's probably going to be a hundred percent most of the time well you can try differently I'll try times two and that should probably yeah you can see the effects much stronger on that <laughs> Well, it's obviously the clip isn't synced to it, but the beat is. And so 
another way we can do this is we can make it darker. And that's what I did for Tryhard's episode. I went to, you go to transform on the clip, hold down alt, opacity, click this stopwatch, go to audio amplitude, and there's a slider, pick whip it, and then this we're gonna add plus 20 and that should probably be sufficient for what we're looking for but um anyway guys uh, go on my channel and I would really appreciate it if you do this for other tutorials and then there's uh, Google Modulator or Moderator or whatever um, and that's basically my idea box for tutorials and so just go and type in an idea or suggestion of what you'd want to see in a tutorial and just press enter basically like send it in as a suggestion it'll pop up and I'll take a look at it and then um, I will most likely make a tutorial out of that for you guys so I just got my new monitors in 16 to 9 aspect ratio so now I'm finally comfortable with the video not having black edges which really annoyed me before and so I'm gonna be making a, a crap load of freaking tutorials for you guys but um here I'll just show that to you <laughs> But um, flashing lights and all that isn't the, they aren't the only effects that you can keyframe to, or attach, if you will, to the audio amplitude. You could go to like, you. I'm sure you guys have seen this with flares, you know, video copilot optical flares, and where the flare flashes to it, that's basically the same thing. You just pick whip the flares opacity or strength to the slider and it'll do the exact same thing but um this is actually a really easy effect and I don't know if that many people know about it but um this has been a pretty long tutorial but a uh, pretty informative I guess you will say um I'm gonna do probably a Twixer tutorial after this and I'm gonna start doing a whole bunch of tutorials so if you haven't please subscribe um I would appreciate it if you'd rate the video maybe favorite it and the reason I'm saying this isn't because I'm white boy 7th street but um well technically it's for some of the same reasons but I'd really like you guys um, to do that because then it pops up on your friends or subscribers home pages and then lets them see it and so just spreading information around you know really like to uh, help people out so that's pretty much been it guys so uh Vash is out Thanks.